you must slow down in your life and be sure of the voice of God before you take steps in your life and destiny is someone listening to what I'm saying man of God don't assume it is time to start church what makes you think you should start church all my contemporaries even sons that I raised in ministry they are in ministry so what Anna the prophetess how many people do you think she raised and yet she remained in the temple ah, may you never go where God is not oh I'm praying for you may you never go where God is not Amen. hallelujah Moses said do not let us depart from here if your presence will not go with us you see let me tell you life will propose so many wonderful things they don't have to be evil I repeat the journey of discernment is not about good and bad alone please hear me let me repeat it again the journey of discernment is not about good or bad alone it's about being in the will of God lack of discernment will lead you to many good things that will end up becoming a burden to your destiny because they are not luggages that were allocated for you to carry your flight will be impeded because you have carried all kinds of things hallelujah I believe in common sense I'm not a fool but I believe in the voice of God I'm also not a fool are we together common sense has landed people in trouble the oldest man on earth today is not more than 120 years I'm, I'm not sure the highest I saw was 141 along the road to Ekiti who just died but I don't know Guinness Book of Record or what what's that that thing I don't know who they have as the world oldest person but let me tell you the truth this scripture is old and the Spirit of God is he was there when creation began trust in the Lord with all your heart Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 it says lean not on your own understanding verse 6 says in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path seven says be not wise in your own understanding he says fear the Lord and turn away from evil for there is a way that seemeth right unto a man the Bible declares he says but the end thereof are the ways of death there are many people who have no business being poor today their problem was not intellectual bankruptcy their problem was that they do not sustain the ability to discern in the days of Noah whether you were a businessman whether you were an architect, whether you were a politician, after 120 days, you were going to die if you were not in the boat. You were not in the ark. It's as simple as that. There are times and moments in history, ladies and gentlemen, where it is not about the wisdom of the wise. It is about the ability to discern the voice and the will of God. My prayer for myself and my prayer for this ministry all the time is that I find myself at the epicenter of the will of God. Now, let me tell you the truth. There is a risk if you embrace the way of discernment. There will be a lot of disruption to what you call order in your life. If you are not willing to endure that disruption, then forget about a glorious life. Hmm. Are we together? Do you know what would have happened to Joseph? We never heard of Joseph and the exploits of his carpentry again. That man just received the burden of fathering Jesus to maturity and had to sacrifice a lot. But he knew that he was in the will of God. What of Mary? I'm sure as a young virgin, the girl just had a plan towards her life and destiny. Listen, I, I pray for our generation. May we not be too organized to the point that God cannot bring us now to fit the mold of his will for us let's be careful with this over dependence on intellect i submit to you that when god started with us this was not let me tell you the truth the way of the spiritual man is very very strange there are many times in the journey you don't even know where you are going to you have to depend on the one leading you not an assurance of where you are going you trust the person more than the destination follow me is the mission we live in a world today that is full of guarantees can you guarantee me that if something happens no sir no sir no sir
Are we learning? The men of Issachar had understanding of the times. You must know how to discern. You must know how to discern. You must know how to discern. Lord, this business idea looks wonderful. And my brain seems to agree with it. But can you give me a moment? Let me go to God in the place of prayer and hear what he has to say. God will only take responsibility for what he initiated. If you initiate it, it means you are vetted that you have the power to manage the outcomes that come there. Hallelujah. That is why we lack power in the body of Christ. It is not about physical strength. It is about discernment. More love. More power. More of you in my life. More love. More power. More of you in my life. Let me tell you how God trained us. At the beginning of every season, we used to teach people those days that your birthdays are not time to just jump around and put balloon and celebrate balloon is only after you have spoken with god three days two days to people's birthdays they will go and lock themselves lord what is the next phase of my life but right now people celebrate their birthday one year in advance and god is not in it and they move back 10 years pastors will lock themselves and go and pray to fast not just for power Lord, what are you saying? This is how we got here. I'm telling you sincerely. Do you know what the next five years is going to be like? Do you know what the next 10 years is going to be like? I've shared with you my story. When God in, this, this was when, you know, internet was in its infancy. When God gave us an instruction to carry our audio teachings, put it online, and his angel would take it across the nation. And that was it. Discernment. That one step opened up doors of untold opportunities. God is speaking to someone. It's not because you cannot see the power of God. It's because you have thrown away the value of the voice of the spirit and discernment. There are, you don't hear again that someone locked himself. Where are you? I'm spending time with God for three days. What for? I need to get direction for the next season of my life. Our over-dependence on brain work is what is making us failures. I'm saying this respectfully speaking. More love. That's what we want to see. More power. More of you in my life. More love, more power, more of you in my life. A year or two before we moved to Abuja, I remember when we started having so many visits from the U.S., a group of people came from U.S. and they came, they went back with such zeal and transformation and they did not even tell me they went to open an office for me in the u.s and then they just announced as a good news that apostle just to let you know that we have opened an office for you in fact um you can be sure right now that when you come to the u.s there is an office say breakthrough no no i'm not being sarcastic that's what most people will call it what do you call that kind of favor remember we are advocates of favor but I said, thank you for that opportunity. Let me carry my good old childish principle that has worked so far. Lord, what are you saying? God did not even waste his time. And said, there, there is a way you walk with God, Ba. As you are approaching him, you are, you are, your heart is so connected. It, God does not need to start wasting his time talking to you like an unbeliever. It's like a husband and a wife. There's a way a wife already knows the answer. Honey, she stops there. You already know what the answer is. You can grow into that level of intimacy with the spirit. I hope you know what I'm saying now. The 
that someone is conjuring an enchantment against you and an energy comes upon you you wake up in the night you can't explain what is it but that no divination no enchantment against you Abba, sit down and just say this person is no scriptures like arrow just fire out from your spirit is someone learning hear me the order of Issachar is the survival pattern for the last days you need to master the art of spiritual perception you must be so close to the Holy Ghost that you can you can perceive the impulses of the spirit This looks like an open door, but I don't know why there is a restraint in my spirit. Even though it's a great door, please keep it open. Let me go back to God. God, what do you have to say? And you stay there till he speaks. You don't let your tiredness answer you on behalf of God. And you say, I've prayed for three hours. I assume he say yes. No. Are we together? This was the secret of the, the valiancy of great men in the Bible. Should I pursue? They will go and inquire of God. Many non-Christians and diviners do that till today. They will never take any action, whether in business, in whatever, until they have an assurance from heaven. Let me tell you this. Some of us that you see that look like we are great, I confess to you, I'm speaking to the globe, it is not because of anything in ourselves. We have simply mastered the childishness of staying till his voice comes. Mm, staying till his voice comes. But when that voice comes, it comes with tremendous power and energy according to Ezekiel 2 and verse 2. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me. So you can find a man look so slow in destiny but in two months god will do something with that person that will cover up for 10 years and you are wondering from whence came this energy the energy came with the voice the energy came with the voice these are missions to uk you see and the us it was already on plan for a few years shared it with the leaders i'm sure they are used to me now once i say we'll do something and you hear me keep quiet about it just leave me and god like that I just kept quiet since God kept quiet but when the word came it came with energy it came with power man of God don't assume because everybody is doing conferences you get up and go and do it don't assume because everybody's opening branches you go and do it I'm saying this respectfully speaking don't assume no father according to your prophetic program for me how many children should i have ah i went to school how can i be asking god how many children you'll be surprised that in god's mind is three you now go and give birth to five those two of course god is merciful but you'll be surprised the the headache you will get from the remaining two and you are now asking god is this how you want to punish me I'm sorry if I'm touching an area that is a bit touchy, but it is very important. Hallelujah. Three days before Koinonia will start, before the service, I went back to God again to pray, crying my heart before him. And I said, God, I'm human. I can make mistakes. Please, if it is not you and it is not your voice, I pray and I cry unto you that you will speak to me. And I vow on that God, if God had told me he was not the one, I would have come here and apologized before the whole world. I'm not too proud to say sorry. Discernment. Discernment. To know what you ought to do. You need to go back right now and start re-examining your life in light of this thing. And you'll find out that some of you have been running anyhow. Anything that comes, once it makes sense, you jump at it. No, spiritual men don't work like that. It is not to make you judgmental. There are times you maximize opportunities. Don't get me wrong. But a spiritual man is one who discerns. Okay? 
this is a great business would you give me one night let me just pray let me just seek counsel no no it must be now tell the person may god bless you god who supplies jehovah jireh he will come back again don't put yourself in any kind of anything that needs your being too fast that you even have to throw god out is already bringing trouble speed without god is a highway to destruction make sure he's the one who becomes the captain of your speed is someone learning let us become a people of discernment it will help you to know what to be part of it will help you to know what to not be part of don't jump at things because of the physical expression and the flamboyancy that they carry spiritual people do not work like that it is not to make you this teaching is not to make you judgmental I hope you understand what I'm saying yes but you must learn to be spiritual you must learn to be spiritual you will know what kind of gift to accept. Someone can come and give you a gift. And you look at it. And something you should be glad about. You see, Ba, once you invest in building your spirit, respect the impulses that come from that spirit. Why am I being troubled over something that should give me joy? You may not know what it is, but just stop where you are and go back to the place of prayer lord this job that is supposed to give me joy is it just human fear or it is you restraining me how can i get a contract of 20 billion i should be rejoicing but now i'm i'm tomorrow i'm going to collect the award letter and i cannot sleep in the night if it's an attack let me cast it what is there but let me tell you what many of us will do. You will first send the text, Apostle, there's a spirit fighting my breakthrough. It cannot be the will of God that I got 20 billion naira. Stand up and pray with me, oh. And you see the thing about God, ba, because the Holy Spirit is a gentle spirit. His assignment is to restrain you according to the level of your yieldedness. The moment you begin to struggle with the Holy Ghost, it is fearful when God leaves you to yourself. <clears throat> if you're with me, please say amen. amen. I don't know why God is speaking this to someone, but this is a very serious prophetic message for someone tonight. What was the second thing they did? The sons of Issachar. The Bible says they had the strategy for the season to know what Israel ought to do. It's not. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.